ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂಶಾಚಾರ್ಯಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ
there is a prakriti para prakriti and apara prakriti para prakriti is ishwara apara prakriti is maya which sankhya is called as uh, call as pradhanam so sankhyanam eva na natu sankhyanam eva swatantra yo hoy iti eva artham in sank sankhya philosophy darshana pradhana or maya prakriti functions on its own without any chetana sambandha the chetana purusha is only a bhokta not a karta at all so swatantra yoho sankhyanam eva swatantra yoho na iti eva artham to show that there is a dependency the para and apara prakriti come together and then there is karya prakriti sthattvam guneshu cha sangaha samsara karanam iti uktam so what is the karana for samsara the gunas of the prakriti sattva rajas tamas guna of prakriti or maya thereby their prakriti stha guna prakrutau tishtanti iti prakrutasthaha tesham bhavah prakriti prakriti sthattvam prakriti sthattvam those gunas which are there in prakriti guneshu cha sangha in those gunas there is sangha sattva there is some sangha with rajas there is some sangha with tamas there is sangha and thereby with the guna sambandha samsara karana that becomes the sangha that association becomes the karana for samsara iti uktam now the question is in unto which guna what kind of a sangha is there kasmin gune katham sangha and you have to understand these gunas also keva guna ha this sattva rajas tamas gunas tamas gunas manifest in various ways thereby there is raga dvesha so keva guna ha and kasmin gune katham sangha ha katham vate badhanti iti they if they are samsara karana then they are bandha karana if they are bandha karana then how do they bind katham vate badhanti iti these are the questions then further gune bhyasya mokshanam katham syat okay there is sangha with guna which becomes samsara karana meaning cause for bandhana how will there be release from it gune bhyasya mokshanam katham syat muktasya lakshanam vaktavyam so how moksha takes place moksha as in the freedom from these gunas and freedom from gunas is freedom from sangha with guna sangha with guna is samsara karana therefore moksha from gunas is moksha from samsara karana also thereby moksha as well in the real sense then once one is free from gunas muktasya cha that kind of mukta what is his lakshana muktasya cha lakshanam vaktavyam iti eva artham cha bhagavan vacha so considering all these which have come up these questions have come up due to the earlier chapter so earlier chapter was a summary of the entire gita thus far whereby kshetra and kshetrajna division was shown and kshetrajna was said to be ishwara himself thereby how the kshetra starts functioning how it how it comes about how kshetra comes about as a karya <coughs> that has to be explained the gunas have to be explained the guna sambandha what kind of association with what kind of guna and how they bind how there is a release possible and what happens to this person who is this person who is released muktas selakshanam vaktavyam he has to be defined per se so thereby shri bhagavan vacha so i'll take the first verse shri bhagavan vacha param bhuyah pravakshami jnananam jnanam uttamam yajnatva munaya sarve param siddhimito gataah तो परम ज्ञानम परम भूय प्रवक्षा 
ज्ञानानाम ज्ञानम उत्तमम दट परम ज्ञानम इज ज्ञानानाम उत्तमम ज्ञानम ज्ञानानाम मध्ये उत्तमम ज्ञानम इज परम भूय इज पुनः प्रवक्ष्यामि लृटलकार उत्तम पुरुष एक वचन आई विल टॉक अबाउट इट यत ज्ञातो हैविंग नोन यत ज्ञातो ज्ञात्वा मुने सर्वे मुने परां सिद्धिम इतः गतः गतः इतः 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 परम इतः इस अस्मात पंचम्य अर्थ तसिल सो प्रवक्ष्यामि इस द फर्स्ट वर्ब हियर उत्तम पुरुष एक वचन भूयः इज एन अव्यय पुनः एंड देन अहम प्रवक्ष्यामि सो अहम इज करता परम इस तृतीया एक वचन ज्ञानानाम उत्तमम ज्ञानम प्रवक्ष्यामि एंड देन यत इज द कर्म फॉर ज्ञातवा व्हिच इज तांत अव्ययः मुनयः सर्वे मुनयः प्रथमा बहुवचन पराम सिद्धिम इज स्त्रीलिंग द्वितीय सिद्धिम इज तिन्नंत पराम एंड सिद्धिम आर इन सामानाधिकरण्य द्वितीय एक वचन गताः गताः इस वर्ब इक्विवेलेंट सो गताः भवन्ति अदरवाइज सर्वे हे सिद्धिम इतः गताः भवन्ति इतः के नोस भी अस्मात कारणात इतः अतः अस्मात सो व्हाट इज द अन्वय हियर भूयः परम ज्ञानानाम ज्ञानानाम उत्तमम उत्तमम एंड परम ज्ञानम प्रवक्ष्यामि still used to this keyboard pravakshami yajnatva sarve munayah param siddhim gataha gata ke nu subhi gata bhavanti aur bhavanti sma gata ke nu subhi te past tense aur continuous also so itaha यज्ञात्वा इतः अस्मात् इतः सर्वे मुनयः पराम सिद्धिं गताः सो परम ज्ञानम परम ज्ञानम इति व्यवहितेन संबन्धः सो परम कनेक्ट्स विद ज्ञानम व्हाट इज परम ज्ञानम देयर आर सो मेनी वर्ड्स इन बिटवीन बट परम ज्ञानम इज इन सामानानि करंट देयरफॉर व्यवहितेन संबन्ध मींस देयर इज अ कनेक्शन बिटवीन द वर्ड्स परम एंड ज्ञानम अन्वय वाइज and there are they are separated vyavahitena by separation but they are connected bhuya is equal to punaha purveshu sarveshu adhyayeshu asakrut uktam api pravakshami punaha why punaha puna means purveshu sarveshu adhyayeshu in all the 13 chapters asakrut asakrut is not once sakrut is once asakrut means many times uktam api even if it is taught many times till i'll talk, teach again prakarshena vakshami meaning i'll teach again tacha param paravastu vishayatvat why is it called param highest because of paravastu vishayatvat param since it deals with the highest brahma tatva therefore vastu vasati iti vastu sat brahma since it talks about sat brahma which is para therefore it is called as param jnana itself is called as param because it talks about parabrahma kintat what is that 
that is jnana therefore kim tat jnanam sarvesham jnana uttamam jnanam what kind of jnanam sarvesham jnana na uttamam best among all kinds of knowledge is this knowledge is the best why is it the best now first of all it deals with param brahma therefore it has been called param but why uttamam now uttamam because utkrushta because uttam phalatvat the result of getting this knowledge is moksha therefore uttam phalavat phalatvat uttamam paravastu vishayatvat param therefore this jnana which is which deals with the highest topic as well as gets the highest result it is called as uttama jnana naam iti amanitvaadi naam na what was dealt with earlier earlier chapter had jnana as well jnanam nyayam yat yat pravakshami jnanam nyayam all this has come in the 13th chapter so this word is quite loaded jnana can mean chit it can mean uh, the means also because it is jnana is ludanta and lut can be used generally in bhave karane adhikarane but also akartari cha karake sanyayam in many akarta meanings non karta meanings there by all karaka arthas it can be used karake karake arthe possible meanings are there so jnana can mean karma also nyadhatu karma sajneya it will mean neya then neya vastu is jnana jnana is a means karne arthe then other meanings are possible but then at least these meaning jnana is also the buddhi meaning can be buddhi where jnana takes place adhikarne arthe jnana bhave arthe means just knowledge so knowledge the object of knowledge the means of knowledge the adhikarana of knowledge where knowledge takes place mean the locus of knowledge wherever it takes place all these meanings are possible but in the last chapter jnana was said to be all these virtues why gauna arthe because having these amanitvaadi naam the uttama jnana becomes easy therefore aman itwadi the 20 virtues which were discussed in the earlier chapters their jnana had a different meaning but here it is not having that meaning therefore jnana naam iti na aman itwadi naam which has gone by kintari then what is the meaning of jnana yajnyaadi jneya vastu vishayana iti jneya karmani vitpatti and what is that karmani here it was karne vitpatti they lead to amanitvaadi ityadi these virtues are the means karne arthe jnana here it is kar, kar, karmani arthe nyaya vastu vishayana those which are to be known what kind of here amanitvaadi if you just know what is amanitvaadi it is not helpful you have to cultivate these virtues just knowing is not sufficient here yajnyaadi jneya vastu vishayanam here also here you have to do something do if you know the jneya vastu in karma kanda also if you know the jneya vastu yajnyaadi then not only should you know what are the karakas used in yajna you should also do them mantra then how the agni has to be invoked which devata should be invoked what should be offered all this has to be known jneya vastu vishayanam jnanam iti so that is the jnana vishayana means the vishayas are these jnanas are vishayas dealing with the ajnadi jnaya vastu tani na mokshaya however these will not lead to moksha earlier this these means gaunarthe they were leading to moksha because those virtues will lead to lot of viveka shamadamaadi vairagya and then mokshutvam thereby they were necessary here chitta shuddhi for chitta shuddhi you need all this tani na mokshaya idam tu mokshaya so these earlier sorry the earlier the, these were indirectly gaunarthe here what will happen yajnyaadi neya vastu vishayana what kind of yajna 
But Tani na moksha idam tu moksha how these will lead to moksha iti parottama shabda abhyam stoti. It is just a stuti. Idam tu moksha iti parottama shabda abhyam stoti. By saying param jnanam, why has it been said param? Finally, all karma kanda is also meant for moksha itself. If you understand it right, if there is purushartha nishchaya, then it will lead to moksha but initially it ha a person has to be attracted to karma kanda even therefore stauti para and uttama shabda ha both have been used param jnanam and uttama jnana really this yajnadi jnavastu is neither para not really dealing with para and not definitely not uttama but still stauti there is a stuti done why shrotru buddhi Ruchi Utpadanartham only for the purpose of attracting. It's a trump card. You attract the person to Karma Kanda. You do this, this will leave moksha. Then a person starts to do that, then gradually you wean him away from the results of no Swarga itself is moksha. That is what the, the Shruti does. Vedas do that. First they attract, oh, whatever you want, you will get it here. Forget about the worldly sukha, come to Vedas, it will give you Paralaukika sukha. Sarga is really that kind of sukha that you want, you won't get it here. Then once one starts doing that itself is moksha, it is praised as moksha. Then later, no, that is not really moksha, it, because it is not nitya, you will get more sukha, you will get it for more duration of time also. Still it is not moksha because it is not nitya sukha. It is not the ultimate, it is not really uttama, nor is it param, but still through stuti, once one is attracted towards it, then slowly you reveal once one person is comfortable with the karma yajnadi. Yajnatva yat is jnanam. Yajnatva kim tat yat yat shabdena kim ucchate jnanam. Jnanam jnatva having Jnanam Jnatva seems very odd. Having known the knowledge, meaning having attained that knowledge, Prapya, that's why Prapya, Jnatva is Prapya. Otherwise, Jnanam Jnatva, Yad Jnatva, we don't think much. But Jnanam Jnatva, Bhagavan Bhashagra, Jnanam Prapya. Having attained that knowledge, Munayaha, whose are these Munayas? Mananashila Sanyasi, Sanyasinaha, Mananashilaha, Mananashila Mana Muni. Thereby, Mananashila Munayaha Sanyasina Sarve Param Siddhim. What is that Param Siddhi? Mokshakhyam. Itaha is Asmat Pancham Yartitasit. Deha Bandhanat. Asmat Deha Bandhanat. Freed from this Deha Bandha. Asma. Itaha means from this. From what really? So here he uses from Deha Bandha. He translated as Deha Bandha is this, which you are experiencing here and now the bondage is real for that person so he wants freedom from that body therefore deha bandhat urdham gataha praptaha deha bandhat gataha means what here it is in anva we said param siddhim gataha they attain param siddhi what is a param siddhi param siddhi is gataha is praptaha they will attain the highest they will attain the highest. That is the idea. Who wants to take the next one? I can take. Okay. Can you hear me? Please. Please. Hello. Yeah. Asyash, asyascha Siddhehe Ekantikatvam Darshayati. Ekantikatvam. Ekantikatvam. What Ekantikatvam? Ekantikatvam. Yeah, Ekantikatvam. So Asyascha Siddhehe. Of this Siddhi, what? Aikantikattvam. Aikantikattvam ekanta. There is only one end to this. Not multiple ends. Not undefinable multiple ends which are, you know, oh, I do so many things, but I do not know whether I'll get the result or not. Not that kind of a thing. Aikantikattvam is guaranteed result. You'll have only one result and it will not be different from the way the expectation is set. Meaning, it is Nitya basically. Nitya and the 
what is that darshayati darshayati is it's a nijanta so shows it idam ya ya idam yanam upashritya mama sadharmya magataha sarge pinopajayante pralayena vyathanti the vyathanti cha so the padachida will be uh, idam jnanam upashritya mama sadharmyam agataha sarge api na upajayante pralaye na vyathanti cha so there are two uh, verbs here that is uh, upajayante is the first one and vyathanti so these are the two uh, verbs both are prathama purusha uh, uh, bahuvachana <clears throat> then idam jnanam that will be uh, this will be considered this verb equivalent also upashritya upashritya yeah upashritya is verb verb equivalent yes so why they want that what is the case of idam yeah so what for is the case idam, for which one what is the case of idam yeah idam idam jnanam will be two one uh, both idam jnanam will be two one देन उपाश्रित्य मम षष्टि एक वचन साधर्म्यम विल बी प्रथम एक वचन मम साधर्म्यम इदम ज्ञान उपाश्रित्य मम साधर्म्यम आगताः सर्गे आगताः आगताः इस प्रथम बहुवचन साधर्म्यम इज व्हाट यू सेड प्रथम एक वचन है सर प्रथम एक वचन व्हाट इज आगताः सर ओके देन आगता है विल बी बहुवचन है सो प्रथम बहुवचन ससाद है अधर्म में सा व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ आगता हा आगता हा इज प्राप्त यू लुक एट दिस हियर प्राप्त प्रथम वो दे एट कर्तरिक्त इट इज कर्तरिक्त ओके सो कर्तरिक्त दे दे लेटेंस बिकॉज़ इट इज सेड गता हा गता हा आगता दे वी जस्ट सा गता हा so those who attain what sadharm mama sadharm therefore what it is really second case. yeah second case okay it will not be first case it will be second case sarge sarge, sarge is uh, saptami saptami that api is abhya na upajayante pralaya is also saptami and na is abhya and cha is abhya so, ek one thing guaranteed result is this idam jnanam upashritam jnanam yeah as it is चैतन्य स्वरूप सो ईश्वर आगता What will happen then? What is the result? Sargi abhi no upaya. Sargi abhi no upaya. Pralaya and pralaya na vachanti. So there is no anvaya there. It is yeah. as it is. Is it? Is it? Sargi abhi no upaya. I think sargi abhi means what? During creation, during the kalpa, at the beginning of the kalpa, there is sarga. Sarga is srishti. So during srishti also no upaya. I think they will not be born. And okay, if they are not be born, then there will be pralaya also. They will not. उपाश्रीन we have to take the anuvrutti of this meaning of the jnana jnana is what yajnadi gneya vastu vishayanam jnanam upashritya therefore one has to follow through completely jnana sadham sadhanam anushthayet etat one has to practice that jnana jnana sadhana whether you take it as the uh, leading to that jnana whether yajnadi karma kanda jnana following through anushtha is practiced otherwise if you take it as the uttama jnana really then it will be shravana mana dhyasana anushthaya ityetat then mama he is who he is sim krishna himself who is parameshwara so parameshwarasya sadharmyam is mat swarupatam agataha 
those who have attained his own Swarupa. That Swarupa Ishwar Swarupa is Chaitanya Swarupa. Satchidananda Swarupa, Prapta, Agatha means Prapta. Those who have, those who attain this, they will attain this Ityartaha. Then they will attain this means Natu Samana Dharmata Sadharmyam. And what is that Sadharmyam? Sadharmyam can mean there is Sadharmyam. In that Sadharmyam, it is not Samana Dharma. Samana Dharmata Sadharmyam na. Then what is the meaning of Sadharmyam? Shetrajna Ishwarayoho Bheda Anapyubhagamat Gita Shastre. Gita Shastre is what? Upanishadi api. Whatever is in the Upanishad in Shruti, that is there in the Gita Shastra. And what make any bheda, does not accept. Abhyupagama is acceptance. Anabhyupagama is non-acceptance. What is not accepted? Because of non-acceptance of bheda. Between what? Kshetra, Kshetrajnya and Ishwara. Kshetrajnyam chapi maam vidhi sarva kshetreshu sharireshu bharata. So Kshetrajnyam chapi maam vidhi. Who is that maam? Maam vidhi. Who should you know as Kshetrajnya? Krishna Ishwara. Parameshwara. Therefore, Kshetrajna and Ishwara have no bheda. It is not accepted in Gita Shastra. Therefore, Sadharmyam is not Samana Dharmata. Sadharmyam means, okay, you have uh, some dharma, I also have same dharma. Not that way. There is no difference between you and me. That is the idea. So, Sadharmyam can be confusing. Here it is Swarupa. That's why Mat Swarupatam Agataha. One attains Bhagavan Swarupa. Not that Rupa as in his form or any dharma, oh, he has some qualities, I'll get those qualities. There are no qualities. He is Nirguna Brahma. Cannot even call, be called as he anymore. That's why Shruti prefers to call it as neuter. There is no fight that, oh, uh, Deva Bhakta or Devata Bhakta, Devi Bhakta, no fight there at all. Ishwara Paramatma is in Pullinga. Because Saguna is there. Sagunattam is there. Nirguna Brahma, Parameshwara is Nirguna. Therefore, Sadharmyam is not the dharma of, you know, dharma, if you compare dharmas, dharma of Ishwara and Jiva are different. One is a samsari, the other is already free, mukta, nitya mukta. Then all these alpadnyatvam, sarvadnyatvam are contradictory. Having a small sharira, having a huge sharira, mahat sharira. There is a difference, virat sharira, whereas vishwarupa. Here there is hardly any rupa. If you stand in front of, uh, whole day you stand in front of uh, mirror and make yourself, uh, still you cannot be Vishwarupa. So, so many differences. So, Samana Dharmata is not the meaning of Sadharam. It is Swarupattu, which is Satchidananda Tattva, which is not different at all, which cannot be different, which cannot be segmented at, at all. So, Aikya. Aikya meaning what? Aikya is not union. Not yojana, not yoga. It is rejecting all ideas of bhedas. Therefore, Kshetrajneshwar Yoho Bheda Anabhyupagama. Bheda Anam Anabhyupagamat Gita Shastre Sarvatra Sarva Shastreshu. Phalavadascha Ayam Stutyartham Uchyate. What is this Phalavada? Phala, which has been talked about, it is Stutyartham, not a real Phala. Sarge api, why real phala? Because jnana has been not de has been defined differently. Jnana, because in this chapter, Bhagavan Bhashyakara looks at it and sees what kind of jnana is talked about. This jnana is not going to lead to mukti directly. So it is something which will build up to that. It will give you chitta shuddhitya. Therefore, jnana stuti here is, uh, sorry, phala, phala stuti is done. Phala vada chayam stutyartam uchyate. Sarge api, srishti kale api na upajayante. So, sarga, sarge means srishti kale, kale saptami. Then, na utpadyante, up, na upajayante means na, up, na utpadyante. Pralaye brahmana api vinasha kale. Which brahma? Not nirguda brahma. This is pullinga brahma. Brahmana, chaturmukha brahmana api. Chaturmukha Brahmana Api Vinashakale, meaning Kalpakshe. At the end of the Kalpa also Vinashakale, Na Vyathanti, meaning what? Na Vyathanti, Vyathamna Apadhyante. 
what is the idea of yatha, what is the yatha there, na chevanti chyartha. There is no chuti, there is no fall. One will not fall into naraka ityadi, one will not fall from human life, one will not fall into any life really. So, in at the end, one will not, you know, not be judged for the actions because one is not a karta anymore. One does not have to undergo any bhoga after the fall of the body. Vidaya mukti ityartha. That is the second verse. What is the next? Who wants to take this? Hello. Okay, I'll take the next one. Okay, Kshetra Kshetra Gnya Sangi Yoga Idrishaha Bhuta Karanam Ityaha. So, Bhuta Nam Karanam. Samsara Karanam. Idrishaha. How, how is the Bhuta Karana? How is the Samsara Karana? Bhuta Karana is Samsara Karana. Utpati Karana. Kshetra Kshetra Gnya Sangi This kind of Sangi Yoga. Between Kshetra and Kshetra Jnana becomes the Karana for Samsara of the Bhuta. Bhuta Karana, Bhuta Utpatti Karana. What is that? Okay. Mama Yonir Mahat Brahma Tasmin Garbham Dadamyaham Sambhava Sarva Bhutanam Tato Bhavati Bharata Shihe Bharata Shihe Bharata Sambodana then Dadami uh, Kriya Kriyapadam Aham Dadami so, Aham Dadami So Dadami uh, will be Uttama Purusha Ekavachana and then Aham Pratama Pratama Vibhakti Ekavachana then Mama Mama will be Shashti Vibhakti Ekavachana then yeah. Yoni and uh, Mahat Brahma. Yo, Mama Yoni will be I think, 2 1. Hmm? Yoni, where do you have this in uh, Ikaranta? Where do you get this in 2 1? Do you have, no. a, do you have any word no. which has. No, 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 no. No, it is. It is 1 1 only. 1 1 and Mahat no, Brahma 1 1. Yeah. Tasmin will be Saptami Ekavachana. Garbham will be. Mama Yoni is Mahat Brahma. That is what is said here. Tasmin is Saptami Ekvachana. Tasmin. Tasmin. Saptami Ekvachana. That will be Vitiya. Tasmin. Garbham Dadami. Garbham is Vitiya Ekvachana. Then this is, yeah. Aham is Pratama Ekvachana. Then this one. Sarva Bhutana Vishti Bahu Vachana Tataha will be a Vyaya Bhavati Tritiya Pratama Purusha Eka Vachana and Bharata Sambodhana. Yeah. So here Bharata Aham Dadami Kim Dadami Garvam Dadami. So this is all figurative to say in. You know, Maya Prakriti is is the Karana, Karana, Janma Karana. So if you take literally also, it's a womb for all the Jeevas, for the entire Prapancha. So what is the Bija? So Bija Prada Pita is Paramatma. So it's all figurative. So Mahat Brahma, Yoni, Mama Yoni, Mahat Brahma, Tasmin. So that is, in that, uh, garbam dadam yaham. So garbam can be taken as seed also. And then sambhava. Sambhava sarva bhutanam sambhava tataha bhavati. So tataha aham. Uh, here first you know we can make sentence. Mama yoni hi. Mahat brahma. Mahat brahma bhavati. Mahat brahma bhavati. Asti or bhavati. Bhavati and then aham tatmen garbam dadami. Tataha Sarva Bhutanam Sambhavaha Bhavati. Very simple. Sarva Bhutanam. Very simple words in terms of Anvaya, but then it is all figurative. Um, yeah, Sarva Bhutanam Sambhava. Sambhava is. Sambhava. Sarva Bhutanam Sambhava. 
मम मम इज वॉट स्वभूता आ मदीया माया त्रिगुणात्मक प्रकृति योनि सर्वूता कारण सर्वकारेभ्यो महत्वा भरणाच स्वीकाराण महत्ब्रह्म योनि विशिष्य सो इज एक्सप्लेनिंग दट वॉट इज दिस योनि हियर स्वभूता माया और प्रकृति के नॉट बी सेपरेटेड आउट फ्रॉम ब्रह्म यू के नॉट सेपरेट आउट अग्नि एंड दी दहन शक्ति के नॉट बी सेपरेटेड आउट Similarly, Maya is Bhagavat Shakti. Cannot be really separated out. You cannot show it separately. So, Mahat Brahma here is in the sense of Maya. Mahat Brahma is not the Brahma as in consciousness. Rather, it is not Chid Brahma. Maya itself is called as Brahma here with the Brahma Shabda, and that is the that is called as Yoni. So, where place of conception. So, literally a womb, but mama swabhuta, swabhuta it is. Mama, it, mama is to be understood as what now? He says mama shakti, and it has to be seen as no inseparable from himself. Therefore, it is called as mama yoni. He, madhya ha. So, madhya is mama sammandi. He owns it. He wields that Maya. That Maya, which is Trigunatmika Maya, also called as Prakriti or Pradhana in Sankhya Shastra, is Yoni. Meaning, what? What is Yoni? Sarva Bhuta Nam Karanam. Sarva Karibhya Matvat. And why it is called as Mahat? Because it is superior to all Karyas. Karana is always Yoni means Karana, and Karana is always superior to. subtler and superior to all karyas therefore jagat the entire prapancha is the karya and sarva karyebhyo mahatvat bharana cha bharana is nourishment it nourishes with its guna guna shakti with its shakti basically because it is all what kriya shakti jnana shakti uh, so all these shaktis which are and uh, uh, अनुशक्ति क्रिया शक्ति एंड व्हाट इज थर्ड आई फॉरगेट द थर्ड ओके आई होप दैट वन ऑफ यू रिमेंबर्स इच्छा शक्ति इच्छा शक्ति थैंक यू इच्छा शक्ति ज्ञान से इच्छा ज्ञान एंड क्रिया इच्छा ज्ञान क्रिया इज अ ट्रायड सो इच्छा शक्ति ज्ञान आई वाज ट्राइंग टू यू नो देयर इज अ पूज्य स्वामी जी ही रिकॉल्स दिस भजन व्हेन इट कम्स टू आई थिंक शिवानंद आश्रम हैज दिस इच्छा शक्ति ज्ञान शक्ति क्रिया शक्ति ओम so uh, uh, as trying to recall that uh, so uh, ichha shakti kriya shakti and jnana uh, jnana shakti and kriya shakti in that order really there is ichha then there is uh, there is jnana really actually you have to have jnana before ichha also so jnana shakti ichha shakti and then kriya shakti but jnana can be interpreted either way therefore it can go in different orders there can be ichha and then one increases in jnana about that and then there is kriya so sarva karyebhyo mahatvat bharanaacha this bharanaacha is nourishment therefore svavikarana bharanaacha svavikarana is svakaryana because maya is the upadana karana therefore she transforms herself into karya that is a vikar thereby svavikarana bharanaacha mahat because it nourishes by pervading as karya as vikar undergoing vikara therefore she pervades and nourishes the karya therefore called as mahat brahma and what is brahma real here? here brahma yoni reva vishishyate visheshana for yoni is brahma it is brahat see brahma is what brahat mahat is already been used brahat has to be separated out with a little different meaning so brahma is what so you can say mahatvat sarva karyebhyo mahatvat mahat and bharanaacha sarva vikarana brahma you can take it that way mahat has already been explained sarva karyebhyo mahat sarva sarva karyebhyo mahat if you take that bharanaacha brahma we can take that bharanaat brahma because it nourishes therefore brahma 
iti yonireva vishishyate. Tasmin mahati brahmani. In that mahati brahma meaning yonavu, maya rupa yonavu, garabham dadhami. And what is that garabham dadhami here? Hiranya garavasya janmanaha bijam. Hiranya garabha is the first born. So therefore garabham dadhani means garabha here is in the sense of hiranya garabha. Hiranya garbhasya janmanaha bijam is called as garbha because it leads to hiranya garbha. Therefore, bijam dadami sarva bhuta janma karanam bijam because hiranya garbha comes in, then hiranya garbha also known as chaturmukha brahma also when manifest completely and then the creator. Therefore, sarva bhuta janma karanam bijam dadami. Dadami is nikshipami. Kshetra Kshetra Jaya Prakriti Dvaya Shakti Maan Ishwaraham. Who is that? Aham. Aham is Ishwara. What kind of Ishwara? Kshetra Kshetra Jaya Prakriti Dvaya. Prakriti Dvaya is what? Prakriti is Para Prakriti and Apara Prakriti. Shakti Maan. That kind of Shakti. One who has, he is Ishwara. Meaning what? He is Para and Apara Prakriti mix. Ishwara is Saguna has the maya guna and chaitanya is his swarupa therefore prakriti dvay shaktiman aham aham nikshipai means that kind of ishwara that i am who has this shakti which manifests into the prapancha and then sambandha between kshetra kshetra also the entire thing that kind of ishwara am i Avidya Kama Karma Upadi Swarupa Anuvidhainam Kshetrajnam Kshetrena Sanyujayami Ichyartha. What is the idea is here uh, Bijam Dadami. Finally Sarvabhuta Janma Karanam Bijam Dadami mean, meaning exactly what is he doing. This is answering in the Bhashya what was raised here in the Sangati. Sarvam Utyaba Utpadyamanam Kshetra Kshetrajna Sanyoga Dutpadyate. Now, this Utpati, which has been discussed by what? By Bija Dadhanam in, in the Maya Rupa Yuni, Ishara conceiving is, is what really Kshetra Kshetrajna Sanyoga. It is all figurative. What is he really doing? He is creating. An association between Kshetra and Kshetrajna. Creating an association. That is the explanation given for this conception itself. What is this? Kshet avidya kama karma upadi swarupa anuvidai. Kshetrajna. This Kshetrajna. Who is really what? Kshetrajna chapi maam vidhi. Who is Ishwara really? That Parameshwara somehow starts following becoming jiva starts following avidya because there is an avidya association at an individual level so kshetrajna is an individualized consciousness how individualized there is no real individualization individualization is due to avidya once there is avidya association there is kama karma that triad unholy triad of avidya kama karma comes up avidya leads to individualization whereby there is subject object division whether the object is a thing or a person, sentient or insentient, one either has raga towards such things because it is outside of the person. It is an object. Or one has dvesha and wants to avoid. Thereby kama, raga dvesha rupa kama. And to for yoga or kshema or for avoidance through dvesha, one does karma. All these are upadis. Upadi swarupa anuvidhainam. The upadi becomes the swarupa as though by tadatme sammadha. And there by this kshetrajna who is really chetana starts mimicking. Anuvidhainam is following it. Anuvidhi. Anuvidhi. Anu is uh, anupaschat. Anu is following. Following in keeping with whatever is the vidhi. Karma vidhi. Karma and karma phala bhojana. Bhokta, one becomes a bhokta and thereby this kshetrajna connects with kshetra. Kshetrena sanyojayami. So Bhagavan uses this law of karma 
karma in the sense karma and karma phala which is due for bhoga in a particular jiva's prarabdha then this jiva who is none other than brahma who does not know that he is not different from brahma somehow continues under the influence of avidya and then kama karma upadi swarupa anuvidhai becomes that kind of kshetrajna and that kshetrajna bhagavan corrects with kshetre kshetra where particular sharira as per the prarabdha which is due for fructification that is the sarva bhuta janma karana individually for each kshetra uh, for each kshetrajna division now there is the jiva basically this jiva is associated with or becomes a jiva rather the kshetrajna is associated with the kshetra and thereby becomes jiva kshetrena sanyojayami this is the utpatti prakriya ityartha pade sambhava sambhave utpatti sarva bhutanam hiranya garbhotpatti dwarena ततः इस तस्मात् गर्भाधानात् तस्मात् मीन्स गर्भाधानात् व्हाट इज इस गर्भाधाना दिस इज एसोसिएशन सो तादात्म्य संबंध इज क्रिएटेड देयर बाय देयर इज उत्पत्ति हाउ थ्रू हिरण्य गर्भ कम्स अप फर्स्ट एंड थ्रू हिरण्य गर्भ चतुर्मुख ब्रह्म वन इज बोर्न इन अ पर्टिकुलर शरीर बिकॉज़ देयर इज एन एसोसिएशन ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड देन Hiranya Garbha has to put it into action. He just has to roll the ball. Tasmat Garbha Dhana Bhavati He Bharata. So verse is Anvaya is very simple. The meaning is quite complicated. It is not that straightforward because everything here is figurative. No Sangati in the next one. Who wants to take this? See Lakshmi Ji is here. Are you feeling up to it, Lakshmi Ji? Yeah, I can try. Namaste. Yeah, namaste. Welcome back. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I'll Peace start from. Yeah. Sambhava. Um, is there any line from the yes, Sambhava? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's done. Yes, okay. Yes. Just the shloka. Okay. Sarva yoni shu kaunte ya murta ya sambhavanti ya ha ta sam Brahma mahat yoni hi. अहम बीज प्रदर्शिताषु सप्तमी बहुवचन कौंतेय संबोधन प्रथम मूर्त प्रथम विभक्ति बहुवचन संभवती प्रथम पुषा बहुवचन यहाँ प्रथम पुषा बहुवचन तषि विभक्ति बहुवचन महत इस प्रथमा एक वचना योनि ही इस प्रथमा एक वचना अहम प्रथमा एक वचना बीज प्रदाहा इस प्रथमा एक वचना पिता इस आल्सो प्रथमा एक वचना आ हियर आई आई एम नॉट वेरी शुर अबाउट द स्त्रीलिंगा या हाथा साम आई डोंट नो हाउ टू प्लेस दैट बिकॉज़ अर्लियर इट सेड द तस्मिन गर्भम सो आई एम लिटिल कंफ्यूज्ड ऑन दोस ट� सर्वयोनिषु या सर्वयोनिषु मूर्त मूर्त संभवन सिंपल अनवेयर फर्स्ट बीज प्रदा सो दिस इज सिंपल नाउ यू ऐड द विशेषण ऑफ व्हाट काइंड ऑफ अहम तासाम ब्रह्म महत तासाम महत ब्रह्म योनि ही सो 
सर्व योनिशो अहम योनि दैट्स व्हाट ही सेइंग तासाम योनि ही विल सी मोर इन द एनीवे विल सी द एग्जैक्ट मीनिंग बिकॉज योनि एज यू सेड यू नो हाउ टू फिट दीस इन इन द अनवया वी लुक एट वी विल कम बैक टू दिस सो एनीवे दिस इज वेरी क्लियर लेट्स फिट इन द अदर्स आल्सो तासाम याहा तासाम सो याहा एंड तासाम आर समान अधिकरण हम्म बिकॉज थ्री लिख ओके सो मूर्त है आल्सो मूर्ति ही हियर मूर्ति सर्वयोनिषु याहा मूर्तय संभवन्ति या सो हियर सी लुक एट दिस या ओ या ही इज ही जस्ट रिपीटिंग ओके सो व्हाट इज ही भाष्य देयर सर्वयोनिषु कौंतेय मूर्तय संभवन्ति याहा ओ आई हैव ऑलरेडी तासाम ब्रह्म ये प्रदापिता लुक्स लाइक आई कॉपीड इट ट्वाइस इज इट ओके Mm, or maybe Bhagwan Bhaskar is just mentioning them as it is. Then what does he say? Um, Dev, who is this Bija Pada Pita? So he is not doing anything more. He just repeats them and then Pita, who is this Pita? Dev Pitru Manushya Pashu Mrugadi Sarva Yoni Shu Kaunteya. So um, I think I have uh, I have duplicated this. So I'll let me delete this. Yeah, the Bhaskar. Yeah, I copied it twice. It has got copied twice. Yeah, yeah. I think I pasted twice. So Deva Pitru Manushya. So what is the first word here? He counted. So before he starts counting, he says Deva Pitru Manushya Pashumrugadi Sarvayonishu. He counted. Yeah, Murta yeah, yaha Murta yeah. So what are these Deva Pitru? What are the Yonis now? Yonis are Deva Yonihi, Pitru Yonihi, Manushya Yonihi. पशु योनि ही मृगादि योनय सो ऑल दिस ऑल दिस आर सर्व योनि सो सर्व योनि शु इन ऑल दिस स्पीशीज याह मूर्तय व्हिच आर दिस मूर्तय मूर्तीज आर व्हाट देह संस्थान लक्षणः सो इन ऑल द वूम्स ऑफ गॉड्स यू नो पितृस एवरी 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 स्पीशीज देह संस्थान लक्षण इज लक्षण ऑफ देह संस्थान Samsthana is some kind of configuration because the deha configuration is different for devas for pitras. The devas may have you know they may have multiple limbs, multiple heads also. Who knows? Pitras we don't even know how how their formation is. Barely known pitras. We know in some form they exist. Manushya this is the only thing we know. Pashus many of them we know. Murugadi also we know. So many of these we know which are known. So, but the configurations are different. So, those configurations are deha samsthana. So, characterized by particular configurations of bodies. And what are the murchitanga avayavaha? So, particular developed forms. So, which are the the parts are avayavas are murchitanga. Some kind of developing forms are there. Limbs are there. Those are murtayas. Sambhavanti yaha, meaning. When they are born, they, you know, there are different kind of configurations which are born. Therefore, yaha murtya, tasa murti nam, tasa murti nam, Brahma, Mahat Brahma, Sarva Avasthanam. So what is that Mahat Mahat there? Mahat Brahma is Sarva Avasthanam. Presence itself, the presence in that form. So here, what is this yoni? He this yoni is different from. From the yonis here, Brahma, here sorry, okay. So this yoni here, here Sarva Bhutana Karanam. That is the meaning of this word yoni here, Mahad Yoni. So Brahma Mahad Yoni, which has been mentioned earlier, that is Ma Brahma Mahad. He is continuing the words which are used in the earlier verse, and same meaning continues here. Yoni also. Yoni is Karanam, and Karana is Mahad Brahma. So therefore, Sarvavasthanam Yoni Karan Yoni is Karanam. Who is that Aham? Who is that Aham? Ishara. And who is Ishara again? Bija Pradaha. So Garbhadhana se Karta Pita. That is the idea here. So Yoni is Karanam here, not the Yoni which is literal here. Here the Yoni is literal. So first Yoni here is literal in the sense species, the wombs of the species. And Bija Pradha Pradha Pita is Ishara, who is Mahad Brahma. And Karanam because Yonihi. Yonihi is Karanam. So that is the idea. So here Aham Bija Pradha Pita also called as what? 
अहम योनि ही कारणम योनि मींस कारणम एंड व्हाट इज दैट कारणम महत महत ब्रह्म सो महत ब्रह्म अहम आई कैन इवन पुट इट हियर एंड क्वालिफाई दिस महत ब्रह्म अहम तासाम महत ब्रह्म अहम योनि ही और तासाम योनि ही महत ब्रह्म अहम तासाम योनि इज कारणम एंड दैट कारण इज व्हाट महत ब्रह्म अहम एंड what kind of aham is mahat brahma and then bija prada pita so the anvaya is not straight forward because different genders different genders with different meanings but otherwise uh, all are in samana dikaranam mahat brahma yoni hi bhavati and aham bija prada pita bhavami you can even split that and say tasam mahat brahma yoni hi bhavati karanam bhavati so that that's another way to do mahat brahma tasam mahat brahma yoni hi karanam bhavati we can split it bhavati and aham bija prada pita so this will be in keeping with the earlier and yeah, earlier that, was yeah what was said earlier this is yoni hi is maya and in maya he is maya is the mother and he is the father therefore this this can also be made this is better he kaunte sarva yoni shi amurte asambhavanti tasam महत ब्रह्म योनि ही भवती मीनिंग योनि इज कारणम एंड व्हाट इज दैट दिस इज महत ब्रह्म इज हियर माया व्हिच वाज मेंशनड अर्लियर माया प्रकृति हियर व्हाट आई सेड महत ब्रह्म इज मम हियर सर्व भूतानां कारणम एंड इट वाज सेड एज प्रकृति माया वाज सेड टू बी द योनि ही सो हियर आल्सो सेम मीनिंग माया महत ब्रह्म इज माया एंड दैट इज योनि ही मीनिंग कारणम and then in that karana maya aham bija prada pita and what is that bija prada pita the sanyojanam kshetra kshetrajna sanyoga kshetrajnam kshetrena sanyojami is the bija that is the bija okay so that is the fourth verse uh, let's stop here uh, and we'll continue in the next part नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम अव्यक्त संभव अंडस्यांत लोका सप्तद्वीपा चेजनी एनी क्वेश्चन इन दिस चैप्टर पर्से नेक्स्ट पार्ट नमस्ते नमस्ते